Sofia Vergara's estranged husband Joe Manganiello I love it. You wanna? is ready to move on and fall in love with someone else, and wants divorce to be settled as soon as possible, because he has no intention of reuniting with the actress. Sofia Vergara's ex-husband Joe Manganiello wants their divorce to be settled as soon as possible, because he's ready to move on and fall in love with someone else. The actress 51 and the Magic Mike alum 46 confirmed that they were ending their marriage after seven years together earlier this week. And now, a source close to the former couple has claimed that Joe wants to put it behind him, so he could have fun again. The insider explained that while Joe thought Sophia was the one he is not looking back, and wants as little drama as possible. Joe wants the divorce to go as clean as possible. He would love as little drama as possible to come from it they dished. Joe is ready to date, ready to move on, ready to have fun again, and fall in love with someone. The source added that Joe never wanted to be single, but is looking forward to making someone else happy, which will in turn make him happy. He never wanted to be single. He thought Sophia was the one, but he knows that since it didn't work with Sophia, he is getting to a better place within himself to move on to make someone else happy, which in turn will make him happy they continued. He is not looking back, and there isn't a situation where this will be like Ben and JLO. They aren't going to get back together. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez famously became Hollywood's it couple in the early 2000s, but eventually split and both moved on with other people. However, they ended up reconciling two decades later and are now happily married. The source explained that while Joe is embracing the next chapter in his life, he will likely keep any potential new love interests hidden from the public to avoid people judging him. Joe will never dodge an opportunity if the opportunity is right. He does that with his work. He does that with his relationships they continued. But when it happens, don't expect him to shove it down our throats because he would like to move into a new relationship with little to no reaction. He doesn't want to be tied into a situation where people are judging his relationships in the future. He just wants to live a happy life. Dailymail.com has contacted Joe's spokesperson for comment. Joe and Sophia announced that they were going their separate ways on Monday, saying in a statement that they had made the difficult decision to divorce but still love and care for one another. They first started dating in August 2014, and tied the knot just over a year later in November 2015, during a stunning Florida wedding attended by 400 friends and family members. When their split was first revealed, a source told Dailymail.com that the two had drifted apart due to their different attitudes. They dished. Joe is a big kid. He loves playing Dungeons & Dragons. He loves wrestling. He is all about video games, superhero movies, comic books, going to concerts, huge NFL fan. He chases fun. He always loves being out and about and just having a good time. And then when it is time to be serious and when it is time to get to work, he turns on that part of himself. But he is always ready to live life to the fullest and go out and just be fun and have fun. This was immediately an attraction for Sophia who is completely the opposite. Sure she loves having a good time and going out, but she is more concerned with the finer things in life, the trips lavish dinners, being a celebrity, and everything that comes with all of that. She has been told her entire life she is super hot and beautiful. It really has got to her head. She also has a temper and gets upset over stupid things very easily, whereas Joe tries to let things bounce off of him and go with the flow. That was not really seen while they were falling in love, but then the true versions of themselves started showing, and they just got annoyed with each other, choosing work over hanging out, then bit by bit. They stopped wanting to be together and stopped hanging out, because something so little would often trigger an attitude that would bug them. Just their attitudes on everything were completely different, and something like that is extremely draining for a relationship. And they got to the point where it would be a good day, and one thing would be said or done, and they would just get upset with each other. It added up to where now it is easier and more relaxing, not being together. When people say they will be friendly, they will. But the romance part of things is over. They grew apart from something that could have been really good. Another source close to the pair suggested that Joe's sobriety impacted their marriage, explaining that the actor was warned about getting into a serious relationship with someone who was not actively sober. Joe stopped drinking in 2002 more than two decades ago after he said he became broken beyond the point of being fixed. Of course the fact that Sophia is not sober, had an impact on their marriage the insider said. He was warned about this when he started dating her and again before marrying her. He did not think that he was going to change her, 
but he also didn't think about the implications this could have on their marriage. However, a different insider insisted that Sophia who often shares images of herself drinking alcohol on her social media accounts could not have been more supportive of her estranged husband's sobriety. Meanwhile, Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello's marriage was impacted by his sobriety. Report Joe Manganiello's sobriety journey reportedly played a role in his split from Sofia Vergara. Of course the fact that Sofia is not sober had an impact on their marriage, a source told the Daily Mail Tuesday. He was warned about this when he started dating her and again before marrying her. The insider added that the Magic Mike XXL star did not think he was going to change Vergara in any way, but also didn't think about the implications her drinking habits could have on their marriage. However, a second source told the outlet that Vergara could not have been more supportive of her estranged husband's sobriety over the years. Manganiello has been sober since the early 2000s and has been vocal about his former issues with alcohol abuse. In a 2019 interview with Men's Health, the Spider-Man actor explained that he was struggling with alcohol back in the early days, when his career was taking off. There was a point where I really thought I was broken beyond the point of being able to be fixed Manganiello said at the time. Drinking was a way for me not to have to deal with me. And I think that acting was a way for me to not have to be me either. So I could go on stage and not be me come off stage and go to the bar and not be me. Rinse and repeat. On Monday, Page Six exclusively reported that Vergara, 51, and Manganiello, 46, had separated after seven years of marriage. We have made the difficult decision to divorce the pair, who wed in 2015, said in a joint statement. As two people that love and care for one another very much, we politely ask for respect of our privacy at this time. As we navigate this new phase of our lives, while the couple did not reveal why they called it quits, the modern family alum has been living it up in Italy with her friends to commemorate her 51st birthday. Fans began speculating that the couple's marriage was on the rocks after Manganiello shared a cold birthday tribute to Vergara and did not accompany her on her trip. Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello tried to make it work before split but differ immensely in style. Source. Though they tried to put the other's interests ahead of their own, a source tells people that their differences were too significant to keep their marriage going. Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello's differences in personalities contributed to the rift in their marriage. A source tells people that the former couple had different ways in dealing with fame, as well as personal interests. Sofia is down to earth and fun to be around when she is stress-free, but as a career woman, she also cares what people think about her and revels in what makes her a major star the source says, describing the 51-year-old actress and her approach to life. On the other hand, the source notes that Joe is a guy's guy. Despite their shared mutual love and respect, the source says the modern family star and the true blood alum differ immensely in style and what they like to do. Although during the marriage, each tried to put the other's interests ahead of their own to make it work. Following the news of the estranged couple's divorce on Monday, Another source close to Manganiello told people that he and Vergara were always very different at their roots. Their physical attraction to each other only carried their marriage that far, the insider explained. On a day-to-day -day basis, there are so many other things that need to work. There were several things that didn't work. Vergara and Manganiello also were often bickering about the small things, as they were both very stubborn, the source said. This led to a very negative energy around the couple which surrounded the past few months of their relationship. They were really trying to make it work though the source added. They do love each other. No one wants to constantly bicker with their spouse though. Joe has absolutely nothing bad to say about her. She is a great woman. They were just not great together in the long run. The couple met in 2014 during the White House Correspondents Association dinner and got engaged later that year. Vergara and Manganiello then tied the knot the following November. On Monday, the couple announced their separation after seven years of marriage, in a joint statement shared with Page Six. We have made the difficult decision to divorce it read, as two people that love and care for one another very much, we politely ask for respect for our privacy at this time, as we navigate this new phase of our lives.